on the 20th of September 1810, Hendrik Cesar published an advertisement in the Morning Post. Just arrived from the banks of the river Hantus on the borders of the Kefraria in the interior of South Africa, a most correct and perfect specimen of that race of people. From this extraordinary phenomenon of nature, the people will have an opportunity of judging how far she exceeds any description given by historians of that tribe of human species. She has been brought to this country at a considerable expense by Hendrik Cesar. Sarah Bartman's show, at two shillings per head, was an immediate success. Every day, from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m., large crowds would gather at 225 Piccadilly Street. The extraordinary thing about her exhibition is that somebody drew a cartoon of it. It's in the style of Rowlands, and it may even have been a sketch by him. There stands this young Koikoi woman on a plinth. She looks noble, she looks elegant, she's topless, but she's got the traditional hoser type uh, apron in front of her. She is looking straight forward at her foot, kneels a woman, peering under her apron, trying to see the pudenda. In front of her are Scottish soldiers. Why did the artist choose Scottish soldiers? Because they wear kilts short kilts in this cartoon and they have long sporans over their pudenda at the front but a dog is at the back sniffing eagerly up the skirt of a kilt of the Scottish soldier as he tries to do the same thing to what the man at the time probably thought was a noble savage it's a good lesson and the sympathies of the cartoonist are entirely with the person being exhibited and not with the gawping crowd Oh, 